What is chalcopyrite? Chalcopyrite is a mineral that has the chemical formula CuFeS2. It is one of the most abundant copper minerals and is found in many parts of the world, including the United States, Canada, Australia, and Chile. Chalcopyrite is a common mineral in many types of mineral deposits, including hydrothermal veins, porphyry copper deposits, and sedimentary exhalative deposits. Chalcopyrite is a metallic mineral with a brassy yellow color and a bright metallic luster. It has a hardness of 3.5 to 4 on the Mohs scale and a specific gravity of 4.1 to 4.3. It typically occurs as massive aggregates, but can also form crystals, which are usually tetrahedral or dodecahedral in shape. Chalcopyrite is an important ore mineral for copper, as it contains a high percentage of copper, around 34.5% by weight, along with iron and sulfur. It is often mined as a copper ore either as a primary deposit or as a byproduct of other metals such as gold, silver, and molybdenum. Chalcopyrite has a complex crystal structure, with copper, iron, and sulfur atoms arranged in a unique pattern. The crystal structure of chalcopyrite is used as a model to study the behavior of other minerals with similar structures. The mineral also has a number of interesting physical and chemical properties, including its electrical conductivity, which makes it useful in electronic devices, and its ability to react with acid, which has applications in mineral processing. Chalcopyrite is sometimes referred to as fool's gold due to its similar appearance to gold, but it is important to note that chalcopyrite does not contain any gold. However, chalcopyrite can be associated with gold deposits, as well as other valuable metals such as silver and platinum. How is chalcopyrite formed? Chalcopyrite is formed through a variety of geological processes, including hydrothermal activity, igneous processes, and sedimentary exhalation. Hydrothermal deposits are the most common sources of chalcopyrite. These deposits form when hot fluids, rich in metals and other minerals, circulate through rock formations and precipitate out minerals such as chalcopyrite. The fluids are often associated with magma chambers, and as the magma cools, it releases hydrothermal fluids into the surrounding rocks. Chalcopyrite can be deposited in veins and fractures within the rock, forming extensive mineralized zones. Hydrothermal deposits are usually found near volcanic or plutonic rocks. Chalcopyrite can also form as a primary mineral in igneous rocks, such as porphyry copper deposits. These deposits form when magma intrudes into the Earth's crust and cools slowly, allowing the chalcopyrite to crystallize and accumulate along with other minerals. Porphyry copper deposits are typically large, low-grade deposits that are mined using open-pit methods. Sedimentary exhalation is another process that can lead to the formation of chalcopyrite. This process involves the release of metal-rich fluids from the ocean floor, which then mix with seawater and precipitate out minerals such as chalcopyrite. Sedimentary exhalative deposits are often found in sedimentary basins, and are typically smaller and higher grade than hydrothermal deposits. Chalcopyrite can also form as a secondary mineral through the alteration of other copper minerals, such as bornite and chalcosite. This process occurs when the minerals are exposed to oxygen and water, which can lead to the oxidation and breakdown of the original minerals and the formation of chalcopyrite. Overall, chalcopyrite is a common mineral that can be formed through a variety of geological processes. Its abundance and importance as a copper or mineral have made it a valuable resource for human societies throughout history. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.